Interesting. Maybe we should have used a bigger animal. It's kind of late now because the game's still running at only 18 frames per second despite the fact the tower is mostly gone and it's raining llamas. Today I'm picturing a very tall tower with multiple layers of llamas all the way up. That way when I make it fall down, they come with it. Not entirely sure yet how we're going to do this, but I do know we need a little bit more room because my towers are girthy. One thing that's going to make a considerable difference is if we can stack more of these on top of each other, and we can. Alright, that's going to give some layers between the llamas, so I'm excited. And you know what? I've added one on already. He gets to enjoy the bottom level of the raft, at least for now. He'll probably fall off or die. Either way, it's not really my concern. I don't know why it lets me build so high up, but I can sure do it, and I'm very happy about that. That's three stories. I didn't think we were going to put the first layer of llamas at about five. Oh, we can even jump up one more. Those seagulls think they're so special flying up above me. Wait till they see what I'm going to do. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. That might be a bit of a problem. But before we go any further, we're going to armor the entire perimeter of our raft. That way if the shark fights it, he can enjoy metal. And no, I'm not really going to bother to steer this thing. We're just going to drift to where we drift to. I don't really care today. Ran into what I'm going to consider my first kind of logistical problem. How do we... Okay, that's how. How do we build posts way up there so high? Well, we got to jump to them. Or we got to build a temporary platform and cut it down. That's not the end of the world, but you know what? It's always these little details that I overlook that end up taking a lot of time. And we're also going to have the occasional misclick, so we're going to get things in weird places, and I'm not really sure. Okay, the axe is good reach. My next glaring oversight is how do we finish the floor? The floors need to be within two spaces of a post, so I can't fill this in without adding more poles. I mean, I know a way to do it, but it's not really going to be that pretty. But I think it's going to be the only option we have. Obviously, I didn't even know we could eat anything that's not the perimeter. I'm going to fix this, and he's going to start to eat the top layer. Anyways, this is what the platform's going to look like. We just need to build a thousand of these, a million feet high. A couple of fences later, our first platform is done. In case you're wondering how I did that, I just put floor pieces on top of the bottom poles and put poles from the inside up. Makes sense? Close enough. This one is layer 2 complete as soon as I put the fences up. And we're actually really nicely lined up with the debris field. Whatever just does that automatically. And now the worst part of any of my videos, figuring out if we're actually doing this right. So let's take a jump off, we'll show you how high it is already, and see if we're doing this consistently. So far it looks pretty good, that should be 10 stories, about 100 feet worth. Ow, shark. I mean, it's kind of hard to see the scale from here, but basically this entire thing is going to be held up by four, like, four inch by four inch boards and the walkway. Something in my math still seems off. I'm not really sure what it is, but you know, we're just going to keep building anyway. I've committed too much already. We're just going to keep building up as much as we can. We're starting to get pretty high up already, and the waves are actually making this thing rock so much we're all going to get seasick together. It really doesn't feel very good to stand right here. This whole thing, because it's so tall, is so exaggerated, it moves a long ways. We're starting to get a pretty nice view from the top though. There's that island that we're, I think, moving away from towards whatever else is out there on the big ocean. At some point I guess we are probably gonna have to find a decent sized island that we can stand on to look back at this thing for for reference. And so because I happen to be standing right here we're gonna add what we need to do that. We're gonna put a steering wheel, a sail, and a streamer that way we can always sail into the wind and head towards those islands we need to find. Well that's not a very good setup now is it? If you can't see the streamer what good is it? Alright we're gonna put it right there that way when we want to turn into the wind we just gotta turn and point ourselves that way. What a smooth turn. Don't ask how this works. I put a steering wheel, just a steering wheel, on like the seventh floor up way up here and we can turn the raft suddenly so i've just saved now real quick let's jump and see how high we are already yeah this is going real high real fast so already that's i believe 250 feet each platform is five stories officially at this point we're 300 feet above the ocean but let's see what a single llama thinks of that off you go and splash i feel like they fall very slowly maybe it's all the fur so like that, but way higher and like way more llamas. What's maybe the best part about having a raft so tall is that when you have something you don't need anymore, you can just fire it over the edge and you'll never ever see it again. It's the same thing I do with all my children. Pretty high up now. Honestly, I've lost count. So we're going to jump down into the ocean and take a look. Always takes a long time to get there. It's actually going to start getting hard to see. One, two, three. Actually, we got an even 10. 500 feet. You ever wonder what a 500 foot tall raft looks like? That's it. And just like that, we're very uncomfortably at 1,000 feet, right in a wave storm too, so the whole thing is moving so much that I can barely look at it. And we are conveniently pretty close to some islands, so I'm maybe going to jump down and try and park myself close to those so we can get a better look at this thing, which is getting pretty tall now that I jump. No wonder it feels like we're not moving, the wind is completely against us. I also decided to finally make an intelligent decision and move all this stuff to the bottom floor. That way when I wanted to steer my damn raft, I didn't have to jump all the way down and climb halfway back up and also an anchor so we can park ourselves. 
All right, it's a pretty good view from the island. We can pretty well get a scope of how tall it is. It's a shame we're not parked directly next to something, but you know what? You get the idea. That's a thousand feet, 20 stories. If stories were 50 feet, that is. Now I basically just need to populate it with llamas and find a way to make it fall from where we can see it. It would also be nice to know how many llamas the game can handle. I know it can take quite a few, but I have 20 floors to fill. So let's maybe start with 10 llamas per floor, and that's going to leave us with 200 in the end that are going to fall to their death. And that's an approximation. I'm going to do approximately 10 every floor. It might be 9, it might be 11, but you get the idea. I can already feel that performance dropping. It's so jittery and stuttery now. So after turning on my FPS counter, I'm getting an average of 18 frames already, and I've got a lot of floors of llamas to do still. I didn't think it would be this low this fast. It does not like llamas very much. But to be fair, they'll all be gone very soon. We just hit the 10 frames per second mark, and this does not feel good at all. Uh, they're even loading in kind of crazily. I don't know if it's because the raft is swaying so much, but a few of them just went directly over the edge. I guess they were in a hurry to die. And you know what? They were probably the lucky ones. We'll throw a few more, because that's about 10. One floor up, I spawned 10, and I think I've got 5 left on the platform, so I'm not really sure where the other 5 went, but they're not here. Which really only leaves one possibility of where they did go, and it's the gravity way down. How many floors do we have left? The game might not actually be able to handle this. We're down to, whoops, 7 frames per second, and I've got a long run to make up now. But that also solves the mystery of the missing llamas. They made it down, 3 of them of them maybe 18 hours later and i finally made it back up to the top where i need more llamas and yeah half of those are just spawning right over the edge and that's just fine i give them a nice fence and a place to live and they just spawn right over the edge i've got to move very slowly and carefully at this point because if the game crashes i'm not really sure it's going to load back in with all the llamas going on right now averaging a cool four frames per second the game is pretty broken at this point and we've still got to spawn more llamas and i'm worried that we're actually just going to lose a lot over the edge just because the draft swings so damn much but i guess that's kind of the point anyway isn't it all right i spawned like 20 llamas we got three on the platform or debatably, that one's probably going to fall. And I think for these upper floors, you might just have to live with that many llamas because the game isn't really going to handle too many more. Perfect time for a wave storm. Exactly what I wanted. Now I can't do anything because the game just won't react to anything. Even if I try and spawn a llama, it'll do it. It just spawns it kind of in a random place because the raft is moved by the time it actually spawns in. So you can see they're just kind of falling wherever. I'm not even sure I've caught one on a platform. Nope, they're all just falling and slowing the game down. But I'm committed to my idea, damn it. I'm going to make this work one way or another. If you ever want to torture someone, make them climb a raft at three frames per second. So after very patiently waiting out the storm, I can spawn them again, mostly. They're not really super accurate still, but at least a few are landing on the platform. I'm pretty sure the way this works is that when I spawn a llama, it spawns directly above the raft. So if it's swaying in the waves, obviously we're not above the base of the raft anymore. We're somewhere over the edge. Yeah, now that the waves are gone, we're all the way up to 6 frames per second, and it actually feels considerably smoother at that. And here we are at the top, all we need is 10 llamas and then a way to knock it down. And it would be great if I could find a way to actually land the llamas on this thing, but the way to do that is just numbers. I spawn enough, we'll get 10 up here. That's probably about 10 now. Uh, close enough for me anyways. Okay, we're gonna save and jump. Let's wave at all the llamas on the way down. Wait, that one platform is almost empty. I don't know where those ones went, but that's a lot of llamas and a lot of llamas missing. But you know what? I think they probably ended up down here. But if anything, the shark should be very, very happy right now. Well, it doesn't really look any different, but you can see how much it's swaying, even in just the little waves. It's rocking back and forth a long ways, and there's a lot of llamas there. So let's go knock it down and see what happens. What I'm really hoping is that I can knock out the four poles and then the platform is still going to hold it up. Once I knock out the platform, that's when things are going to fall, hopefully. But just in case, we're going to knock one thing out at a time, then look up. Okay, we're okay. No llamas are raining yet. Hole number two. Okay, I think it's going to work. I think my platform is going to keep things up in the air. And we're good. Pole number four might actually knock it down depending on... Oh, yay. No, we're good. Well, we had one fall down, but let's, uh, you know what? Let's go like this and see what comes down. It might take a while for the whole thing to collapse. Where's all the llamas? Oh, there's one. Our first victim. It's kind of strange that only one has fallen so far. I'm not really sure what happened to the rest of them, but... Okay. Nope, here it comes. It's just taking its time to do it because there's a lot to destroy. Oh, there's a llama. Where? We only got two so far. Where did they all go? Did they all fall off the edge? Did they despawn? It is also fairly plausible that they died. Oh, there's one. Um, but I was kind of expecting a bigger, better result than all this. We'll still wait patiently because maybe they all made their way to the top for some reason somehow. There's one. Okay, well, this is still pretty amusing, but I wanted it to really be like a thunderstorm of llamas. There's one. And this is all taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But, uh, oh, there's one. This is definitely a valuable learning experience. Oh, there's a few more. One... 
Uh, I think that's one there. Oh yeah, here come a- yeah, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I think the bottom ones might have just despawned, so the top ones were the only ones really left. It's still weird because there was a few at the bottom, but you know what? I'm still enjoying this nonetheless. And I was really worried we wouldn't be able to see because the lower, like, platforms would block the tower. Uh-oh, we're getting thirsty. This deserves a drink. Oh, here comes a big flurry of them. Yeah, they must have just been despawning as I was working my way up. That feels better. There's a few still hanging out up there, but nope, here they come. And the final one. Pow. I think it was that one. The winner. So... You can't stand on them in the water, which is disappointing. I always wanted to make an island out of llamas, but I don't think it's going to work. Let's try that again from a slightly different angle. All right, I've connected a new ramp up to there. We're going to restock some llamas up on this floor because we seem to have lost them. Then we're going to knock it down from a better angle. Every once in a while, I hear them kind of making noise. I don't know if that's them dying or falling or just kind of doing whatever this is. But they're making noise. The four pulls are out. I'm kind of nervous about taking this walkway away because it might knock down some of the lower floors at least. Looks like it's going to. Hopefully it stops where my ramp connected because that's kind of the key to this. Is that going to be the case? Llamas are starting to fall. Okay, it looks like we're okay though. I really like when my stupid ideas just kind of work. Usually they don't and it's a lot of screwing around and then it turn into something else entirely. We'll turn on our frames per second and we can knock it down from here. We'll just get the water out of our eyes. All right, I think we'll pre... What's that llama doing? I think we're pretty well ready to go. I just kind of hope there's still some llamas left up top. It took a little while to set this up. So, well, there's one right there. So we know we got at least a few gonna fall. Yeah, this would be a way more fun angle. Plus, I did restock that one floor right there somewhere. Yeah, see, there he goes. He's hanging out in the air. Dropping. It's a little more fun when they land on your head, though. It gives it a little more of a, you know, intimate feeling. But there's another one. Just waiting. Yeah, uh, we lost a lot of them in the waves, or they just died because it took so long. That was something I didn't really factor in. I forgot you gotta take care of animals. Never really been my strong suit. There's one, coming down, and splat. It's funny how they just survive. I don't think they take fall damage, probably because they're not really supposed to do this in the game. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta try things to see what happens. We're making a llama farm. You think a few of them would walk to the island to eat and stuff. Whoa, look at that one. He fell weird. Then might not have been alive as he started falling, and that's why he felt like that. Oh, that one made a way out. That's got to be a record. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we should have used a bigger animal. It's kind of late now, because the game's still running at only 18 frames per second, despite the fact the tower is mostly gone and it's raining llamas. That top punch always gets me. And what are you doing? Oh, there we go. He did it the right way. He stopped about 50 feet above the ground, then fell the rest of the way. They all look so sad. Are you guys not having fun? I built you an awesome tower. Well, you know what? I enjoyed it. That's all that matters. These guys, whatever.